जी एज इन दीवियस स्लाइड आई टॉक अबाउट इंडक्शन पॉपुलेशन एंड टूडे गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेल्टिस एंड सीरीज ऑफ थॉमस मेल्टिस and uh, before start again um, i would like to appreciate uh, dr jonathan tomkin uh, from the university of illinois for his support and uh, let me start with uh, with the thomas melthus today and uh, if uh, you can see the current world population uh, this graph uh, simply tell us the population of the world uh, has grown very fastly in the recent times and especially after 1800 it is just, just simply you can see the line going up and the current today population is around 728 billion so uh, thomas melthus had uh, these uh, predictions uh, in 1798 uh, almost uh, near the start of the 1800 or all you can say 19th century so uh, because the population was increasing with a very huge pace and if uh, still the same pace continues that uh, we see uh the population might reach 14 billion in 2020 80 but let us see uh what malthus said uh, about this uh, population increase he's uh there were three postulates uh, that were said by the malthus and one of the uh, postulates was postulate was food is necessary for human beings uh for survival the second was there is passion between sexes so children will continue to continue to be born and the third was that power of population growth is much higher than the earth to have sustenance or simply you can put the population grows uh, exponentially while the food resources grow arithmetically so this is what was was the focus of melthus and he was of the view that population uh, will outrun the resources that we have uh, in the planet and uh, with 1% annual growth we we would see the doubling of population is around 70 years time and uh, similarly if the same pace continues the uh, doubling time might even reduce however uh, this is what melthus said that uh, the population grows uh, population exponentially and you can see the figures here and the food grow uh, arithmetically and if we draw both of these so we get a graph like this where a linear food production you can see and sudden rise in population because population is growing exponentially and then this there is a point where the population grows beyond the food production that we have and malthus called uh, this this point as point of crisis and he was of the view that at this point uh, there will be huge crises or catastrophe will occur there will be famines there will be wars there will be premature deaths so and so forth so uh, this is what uh, was uh the most important point of melthus prediction that he uh, foresee this crisis to occur soon and uh, he was of the view that uh, soon the whole humanity will face a big disaster or malthusian catastrophe and then the population would simply just come down to the level where it will be equal to the food production that we have in the world so uh, this was the malthusian catastrophe what he predicted but if you see for the last 200 years we don't see this malthusian catastrophe to occur there have not been any point where the population have grown or surpassed the food resources that we have so if we take the food production just a straight line uh, and we have the population the way it's going on then the point where the population grows or exceeds the food production that should be the point of crisis and population should simply come back to the original level but we have seen a delay in the in this uh, where the food production just uh, where the population just crosses or surpasses the food production because we also have an increase in the food production thanks to the green revolution now we have better variety of seeds that are available high yielding uh, crop varieties are there with now biotechnology coming into play so and so forth so we have delayed and even in the last 100 years we don't see any any of uh, food shortages indeed today if we see the food production is in surplus in many countries however the famines or uh, the problems that we see that is distribution of food not the production of food well what malthus predicted so there is a difference between production of food or distribution of food there the problem that we see is of production not of production but rather of distribution of food. 
So we have delayed this uh, uh, Malthusian catastrophe which he predicted. And you can see the today's population is here and we have delayed. Uh, similarly, uh, which what I believe uh, uh, is that according to Malthus, it would have come down, population would have come down and we have disasters and we have could have catastrophe, but that doesn't occur. And what I believe is basically that uh, even in the future, I don't see uh, this Malthus uh, prediction coming true. Because uh, again, with, with biotechnology, with the latest, uh, uh, you can say, uh, research, researches or the advancement that is being made in agriculture, in crop production, food production, uh, we don't see any of this kind of food shortages in the near future. With the advent of hydroponics, now we can have food grown in the water as well, which is one of, again, the latest uh, uh, research, area of research which is uh, progressing day by day. And so on, uh, so on and so forth. We can see many other uh, technologies coming into play. So I don't see uh, Malthusian catastrophe even coming in the near future. But let us see what uh, led him to uh, what led Malthus uh, to predict such uh, you can say gloomy picture of the future at that time. Because uh, if we see the Great Britain at the time in 1800s uh, and we compare it with the Stone Age, the condition at Britain at that time was very poor. And uh, it was even people at uh, were poorer than the people at the Stone Age. So you can see the difference between uh, the lifestyle uh, in Great Britain in 1800 and at the Stone Age. So this was uh, basically some of the reasons that led Malthus to uh, predict such a uh, gloomy picture of, of tomorrow, of the future. And here was population uh, at that time around 10 uh, million and now the population is around 50 million in the Great Britain. So, uh, according to Malthus, this would, would have occurred, but it didn't occur. However, still there are photos of Malthus and uh, Neo, uh, we call uh, that Neo Malthusian theory or Neo Malthusian uh, who support the Malthus. And Paul Enrich is one of very uh, famous Neo Malthusian uh, scientists uh, who all the time sports, and he wrote a book in 1960, The Population Bomb. And uh, see, uh, I'm just reading uh, the battle to feed all the humanity is over. In 1970s and 80s, hundreds of millions of people will starve, starve to death in spite of any crash programs embarked upon now. At this rate, doing nothing can prevent a substantial increase in the world death. So this is again what a uh, uh, new Malthusian uh, uh, predicted, but it also didn't occur. We can see this, and uh, even in the present days, there are many. Uh, for people who support uh, Malthus, but at the same time, we see also a lot of critics uh, who are of the point of view that Malthus prediction uh, were not true and they are not going to be true in the near future. And Malthus was too much pessimistic. Although Malthus was an economist, so uh, many people still believe that uh, his predictions were more or less unrealistic. Okay, and. Uh, if we see Agenda 21 in 1992, humanity stands at a defining moment in history. We are confronted with the perpetual uh, perpetuation of a disparities between and within nations, a worsening of poverty, hunger, ill health, and illiteracy, and continuing deterioration of the ecosystems on which we depend proudly. So uh, these kinds of, uh, you can say, uh, the summit also occurred and also uh, somehow or the other way supported what Melissa said, but we don't see that kind of uh, uh, problems coming up and so I would like to conclude that uh, the Malthus predicted uh, three postulates and he said a few things uh, 200 years back and none of that came true but still a lot of uh, supporters support Malthus and they believe that Malthus uh, predictions will come true in the near future. However with the latest uh, researches and advancement in the science we don't see that uh, to coming to be true in the coming future. In the next lectures, I will talk about uh, demographic transition and then we will see the population age structure pyramids. And that after that, we will have a very good picture of how uh, the population adds value to the globe. And in, in fact, uh, one of the critics of the, uh, of the Malthus says that having a population, uh, or having uh, sometimes more population also increases the resources as well because the new ideas come from the young people and when population increases so does the resources also increases because of the combined intellect 
of the new people that are coming into the job. So that is it uh, for at the moment. Thank you very much.